Ay. A very Hello. Happy, yeah. A very happy morning from Toronto, Canada. And good evening and a warm namaste to all my Indian friends. I, Sangeeta Sharma, on behalf of Setu, extend a hearty welcome to this inaugural episode of the limited video series of literary and critical conversations. Setu, that has got more than 35 lakh viewership, has taken this initiative to provide a platform to showcase the over of the accomplished literary authors poets, artists, et al. under this prestigious banner. Ms. Neelam Saxena Chandra, the prolific author, presenter, and bureaucrat, the person whose carefree laughter expresses her vivacious personality, is the first to be showcased in this one-to-one. -one. We all know her as a multidimensional and talented artist. Despite her being a well-known name with a significant social media presence, the occasion demands her to be introduced formally. Neelam Saxena Chandra is a 1992 batch Indian Railway officer working as chief electrical engineer in Mumbai currently. She is an engineering graduate from VNIT and has done her post-graduation diploma in IM and HRD and also in finance. She has completed a summer course in finance from London School of Economics. She has authored six novels eight short story collections, 37 poetry collections, and 14 children's books. More than 2,000 of her stories, poems, articles have been published in various international, national journals, magazines, etc. She is a bilingual writer, writing in English and Hindi. She holds a record with the Limka Book of Records 2015 for being the author having the highest number of publications in a year in English and Hindi. She has several awards rolled up her sleeve. Prize in a poetry contest organized by American Embassy and Arushi, award, awarded by Gulzar. Women's Web Award for Fiction Writing in a National Poetry Contest organized by Poetry Council of India, 2016. Children's Book Trust Award and Sohan Lal Dwedi Puraskar for Children's Literature by Maharashtra State Hindi Sahitya Academy for the year 2018. Humanity International Women Achiever Awards 2018. Bharat Nirman Literary Award in 2017. Premchand Award twice by Ministry of Railways. Rabindranath Tagore International Poetry Award, Freedom Award by Radio City for Lyrics are just a few to name. She was lift, listed in Forbes as one among 78 most popular authors in the country in 2014. Her poem was also placed at number seven in a contest organized by National Alliance on Mental Illness USA in 2021. Now, to set the tone of the personal conversation with this multifaceted lady, I present an extract of Neelam's signature style poem. Subha jab udasi lekar aai, 
गम के काले बादल छाए चूस लेना आफताब की रोशनी और उड़ जाना पंख फैलाए रुको मत कदम बढ़ाओ अभी तो जिंदगी जीनी है थम जाओगे तो कड़वाहट घुलेगी अभी तो जोश की चाशनी पीनी है वेलकम नीलम सक्सेना लेट्स स्टार्ट आवर डायलॉग नाउ थैंक यू सो मच संगीता फॉर योर काइंड वर्ड्स ऑफ इंट्रोडक्शन आई एम रियली ओवरवेल्म एंड आई एम फीलिंग सो इलेटेड दैट यू बिगन द सीरीज विद मी so i'm really really honored thank you so much so let's go ahead and start with the question answer session sure please share with us something about your rich and eventful life how was your childhood and youth or if you have any early formative influences see i was a very introvert girl uh, when i was a kid in my school uh, people would have rarely heard my voice so they didn't know me i was just like a shadow moving around <laughs> however <laughs> uh, yeah so now friends can't imagine that i was so silent so quiet but teachers remember me like that only so okay. people who speak less observe more mm-hmm. just like that That's why true. so all <laughs> mm-hmm. so i was a very good observer and i used to love reading books in okay. fact the first book i remember that i read uh, the first fiction that i read was uh, uh, that uh, uh, written by annette blitton and i received it as an award uh, in my school it was customary to give books only as award so okay. i began my journey with that but i would keep writing my poems since st- uh, standard 6 and once i remember that um, i had put up a poem for a school magazine uh, once and my teacher said these cannot be your views and uh, you are a kid and you can't think like this so i took it as a compliment that she is thinking that i can't write whereas i can write so mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, taking out positivity from everything used to be my rule of life and that has led me to where i am great wonderful so you have finally come out of your shell and you are all over now the world is your oyster well what prompted you to delve into arts was it a desire to communicate or was there some other inner motivation see initially since i started writing in my school days it used to be expressing myself and my opinions because i wouldn't be speaking so i found it easy to write because uh, people need not agree to my views because sometimes mm-hmm. my views used to be different uh, i was a bit rebellious but uh, not in everything mm-hmm. i wouldn't bother about small things i was very focused i knew where i have to rebel and uh, like um, i rebelled for what i wanted to do in life uh, mm-hmm. like um, becoming an engineer was not uh, something very much appreciated that time uh, mm-hmm. for girls but mm-hmm. i said i want to do engineering and despite mm-hmm. all the opposition i overcame it okay. of course my mother supported me but there was uh, there was a lot of uh, opposition uh, but you know like literature and engineering they mm-hmm. went uh, hands in hands uh, hands mm-hmm. in hand with me because i used to read the biographies of famous personalities engineers uh, scientists and i felt when they could do this i can also do so literature motivated me also mm-hmm. so uh, it served both the purposes my opinions as well as motivating me yeah 
a truly multifaceted personality you are. Uh, so what's your opinion about the current literary scenario in India? Is it uh, English dominated? Uh, not really. If it was really English dominated, then how could uh, Gitanjali Shri won the award, Booker Award? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yes, uh, sometimes it was some translated in English. Yeah, it was translated in English, but mm -hmm. it was a Hindi book, which mm -hmm. was later translated in English. And mm -hmm. because for international going up to international level, you have to know English. And I means you have to know means you have to write in English or get your novel translated in English. That's a different thing. But people do read Hindi stories, Hindi poems, and uh, I have achieved uh, whatever I've achieved if, uh, initially uh, in the field of Hindi. Uh, because my first biggest award was by Gulzar Saab for uh, Hindi poetry. Mm -hmm. So... <laughs> It's not that Hindi is not uh, there at all or other languages are not appreciated. Mm -hmm. They are also appreciated. And uh, one of my children's book was translated into, it was a Hindi book. Mm -hmm. It sold more than one lakh copies. Okay. And it was translated into Odia, Punjabi and now Sanskrit. Mm -hmm. So this simply proves that uh, other languages also have importance. And uh, in fact, some of the best literature can be found in uh, other languages. However, English authors get uh, uh, get an international stage. I'm here today because I can speak English. Maybe if I was not yeah. speaking English, I wouldn't be on the stage. Yes. So, so yes, in, uh, speaking English helps. But if you are not speaking English, you can still go to ITS. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Ravindar Tagore wrote only in Bengali. Premchand wrote only in Hindi, but they made uh, the, uh, their place. Yeah, they carved a niche for themselves. That's true. Yeah. Yeah. So I am a great fan of your Shero Shairis. Uh, I have heard your Hindi shares as well. Uh, here I quote one. अंधेरा है रातों का पर जिगर में उजाला है मेरे दिल का पंछी बड़ा ही मतवाला है अंधेरे में भी आफताब खोज ही लेता है वो कहाँ खामोश और बेबस रहने वाला है This sums up your personality so well. Uh, uh, I heard The Lost Mint Taste is your recent poetry book. Can you just tell something about the book? Yeah. My recent poetry book called uh, Taste. And I've often spoken about lightness through darkness. So this uh, synopsis also reads like this. Each and every person on this planet has his or her own choices, own likings, and own source of motivation. However, at times, the midst of that motivation gets lost in the mundane daily chores and difficulties of routine life. So light through darkness has been a favorite theme of mine. And this is one more book on this theme. Maybe you can find that lost mint taste and be invigorated once again after reading this book. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I have seen that it's there on the Facebook, the lost mint taste. Uh, I wish you all the luck for the book. Uh, so we come to the next. Uh, how has been the general and critical reception of your books? Overall, it has been quite good. Uh, of course, initially, it takes time to be established as a writer and one should have that patience. But I already told you the story of my illustrated book for children, which has sold more than a lakh copies till now. That's it was thing. even prescribed in. <laughs> yeah, it is. 
and uh, i'm really you know i feel really blessed it was also yeah. a part of mp schools then uh, rajaram library had purchased 300 copies of my novel can i have this chance which was published by author press that is a big number then winter <laughs> it's and heartening then, uh, uh, yeah. Two... <laughs> yeah it is really heartening because people like us people like you and me uh, we are simple plain writers and uh, we don't have any backing but still we write and uh, we have reached where we have due to sheer uh, determination and mm -hmm. hard work and keeping on reading and writing more and more mm -hmm. so two books find a place in limca book of records one is winter shall fade which is my poetry collection with my daughter and transcending hearts which is a poetry book with my sister then uh, dehlis this uh, was a book written for teenagers uh, this one maharashtra sahitya academy award many of my uh, books remained best sellers and two of them remained at number 1 for long so the journey has been good yeah that's true uh, getting good feedback for your books and if the copies are being sold that provides the impetus to the writer to go on with his or her labor so again i wish you luck for all your books and with again another quotation of our dear neelam saxena we move over to the next question i have reached this destination after walking through miles and miles see also my bruised feet don't always go after my smiles or another i twirl and i swirl i pirouette with happiness i shine i let the life freely flow and with life i rhyme so these are wonderful lines you are a gifted writer no doubt gifted poet thank well, you thank you so much for liking how has been yeah. your experience as a bilingual author and presenter it's not at all difficult because i was used to speaking two languages at home hindi would be spoken because my parents felt that it is our mother tongue and we should speak uh, in this language oh, and um, in school of country i couldn't speak any other language i'm used to all this and in fact at my house there were languages spoken my father knew bengali marathi he persian urdu besides english and hindi of course oh, so when he could switch between 6 7 lang yeah <laughs> if he could switch between 6 7 languages i can surely shift between two languages and in fact i've even tried writing in marathi <laughs> and i've written two or three oh. poems in marathi also <laughs> okay great so hardly any language you have left <clears throat> <laughs> which indian poets and writers have influenced you strongly and why um well besides the stories in the school curriculum i happen to read gora a novel by ravindranath tagore it reflected upon the social conditions of our time uh, uh, um, sorry of uh, that time during our country and it was so well written that i loved it that led me to explore more of indian writing and i enjoyed what i read my other favorite authors poets included premchand ruskin bond amrita pritam malti joshi and so many others <laughs> okay great uh would you like to comment on the current landscape of indian writing in english do you think is it faithful to indian realities 
well some of it is while some of it is not if you read writers like devdat patnai you know that they are uh, talking reality means whatever our mythology is they are able to present it so well and connect it so well uh, devdat patnai specifically however okay. a lot of young writers are becoming famous for using soft porn in their novels which may mm. educate the literary community and we don't call it literature our writers like me simply disregard uh, this kind of literature they are writing for a different section of society yeah. and their output is not literature but something is it is interesting to note mm -hmm. that things are changing uh, women related literature is also coming up a lot i just happened to read a novel titled urmila in which the author compares the, the urmila of modern age to that of uh, the mythological past and mm -hmm. how urmila of today changes the course of flow of her life when her husband abandons her for 14 years and i was really impressed mm -hmm. people are coming up with different stories and uh, it is uh, quite interesting yeah True. So, Indian realities we do find in the writing of these days. Um, according yeah. to you, who are the most significant voices of this field? Indian writing in English. See, uh, it all depends upon what you call significant. but hmm. he may call the famous people as uh, significant yeah. uh, uh, well, like somebody may say that. chetan bhagat is significant so it is a very uh, difficult topic uh, to talk about but uh, i can say one thing that uh, the subjects that authors are choosing today are different just like bollywood movies we would hmm. only hear romance so mm -hmm. uh, now we find uh, movies on so many themes so there used to be two streams art movie and commercial movie now we can see an amalgamation somewhere like ganga jamuna so mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, things are changing and they will keep changing and uh, uh, all those who are writing on something different other than a simple plain love story are mm -hmm. wonderful Mm hmm. Yeah, there have been great writers, William Shakespeare, Alexander Pope, too. They also, at one time or the other, played to the gallery uh, to see their works known by the masses. So that's difficult to say, like how to pinpoint. It all depends on your perception. Who is more significant who is less significant and on your yeah. liking yeah uh again uh let me quote a beautiful couplet neelam's creation again in solitude i lie quietly on the nature's right arm in my heart shines a light divine making my mind oh so calm that's a wonderful couplet thank from you Lord. thank you um may i know what are the popular concerns of your very popular facebook page neelam page mm -hmm. i don't think we have many concerns uh, one concern which had come up uh, during covid times was there used to be some um, sort of distasteful comments like i love you uh, for any female poet who would come up uh, and things like that but that has decreased because now we have profanity filters and all so we are using technology to our aid and uh, Uh, yes, um, uh, that has decreased. We have a wonderful team of admins, and we all work like a family. And if one is not well, the other takes over. It is also smooth uh, that uh, uh, 
uh, we are able to take care of the page because the page doesn't belong only to me. It belongs to the entire family of a little group called Literary Warrior Group. Okay. Literary Warrior Group. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, wishing more power to your literary warrior group. I would just like to tell us something about the important landmarks of your rich and variegated journey. Um, my journey, actually, as I said, it began during my school days. Uh, some poems also got published in newspaper uh, titled uh, Hitwada, which mm -hmm. uh, used to be one of the highest selling newspapers in central India. Mm -hmm. And it was not published in kids section, it was published in normal section. Okay. After that, um, uh, time came when I had to decide literature or engineering, and I chose engineering. So for mm -hmm. a few years, I had to remain silent. Mm, I kept writing, but it was all in my diary. When my daughter was born, she would uh, ask me to narrate one story a day. It had to be a new story. And she would give me the characters and I had to build a story around them. Oh, okay. so... <laughs> he has inherited. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So that is how the journey started. And in my organization, I used to do a lot of anchoring. So mm -hmm. uh, uh, while doing anchoring, uh, initially, I began by using shares uh, of uh, famous uh, shires. And then I thought, why not write yours uh, myself? And then I would write spontaneously. I would just say something uh, based upon mm -hmm. the song, uh, next song or something. So uh, those two things helped. Then I directed a lot of dramas. I also enacted oh. in them. So uh, like my creativity kept growing. And in mm -hmm. 2008, my husband pushed me, sent something uh, to some famous magazines. Mm -hmm. And I sent and they got published. And my motivational levels kept increasing. Then Gulzar Jika Award, then mm. I got International Award, uh, Ravindranath Tagore International Award. Then um, I kept winning many awards. Wherever I would participate, I would get one award. <laughs> like uh, you already talked about Children's uh, Book Trust and uh, Poetry Society of India. So I even uh, tried my hands. Uh, with writing a song and that song ha happened to win the Radio City Award and I was awarded mm -hmm. by Vishal Dadlani himself. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> things Great. kept happening. Yeah, mm -hmm. things kept happening. Ministry of Railways gave me Premchan Award for, in fact, uh, now I've got it three times. Mm -hmm. So things kept happening and um, like uh, the journey kept uh, moving uh, and I'm really very happy to be where I am today. Yes. And you are still forging ahead. You kept receiving awards as yeah. bookies. As bookies, you received awards. <laughs> From different platforms. <laughs> writing is a journey. Yeah, writing is a journey. You keep uh, And moving. it's no surprise. You are such a gifted artist, I should say. One who has directed plays and one who has written songs, poems, novels, uh, collection of uh, children's stories, you have not left any genre to be experimented. So that's really um, to be applauded by all of us. And with the just the last one quote, I would then Put the last question to you. When darkness haunts your soul, when you think you can dream no more, a sun rises somewhere, spreading cheer. For you to enter, divinity opens its doors. So just the youngsters let know about your message. 
What See, is your um, message to the young and the established writers? For established writers, I have no message because they've already found their way oh, and <laughs> their path. <laughs> and everybody has a different path. And if it is leading to the ultimate destination where you want to reach, it is wonderful. However, for newcomers, I would like to say that um, uh, you should just not begin by writing. You should begin by reading. reading. And the month, yeah, people often forget that reading yeah. is very important. They only write, write, write. Mm -hmm. And uh, yes. they forget uh, the grammar. They forget how a story is built up, how a character is built up. Mm -hmm. So reading helps us in all that. And mm -hmm. I still read a lot. So I would tell the youngsters that uh, mantra should be read, 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 read nine times, then write for the tenth time. So uh, reading is very important. Then uh, you should get your grammar checked because uh, if that's not correct, uh, a person may not feel like reading it. Mm. The person would keep uh, finding faults. So he would not be interested in the story. And your okay. storyline has to be captivating. Either the starting has to be wonderful or the climax has to be wonderful or the end has to be wonderful. Something in the story should be there which uh, would uh, make it shine. So, yeah, there should be uh, a twist at the end of the tale, we say, or a surprising end to the yeah. story. Yeah. yeah. And the Just beginning like is always very important, as well as the ending of the story. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the characters have to be built in a particular way. There should not yes. be any conflict uh, in the way the characters build. Uh, it should not be going one way then the other way. So these are the things which one should keep in mind while writing. Yeah, development of a rounded character rather than a flat character is also very important. Yeah, and then setting the atmosphere, describing the yeah. setting, it involves a lot. Yeah. So uh, yeah. that's yeah. the right uh, way to put up, as you said, um, that youngsters need to read more and then put their pens to paper for starting the new journey of writing. Uh, it was pleasure talking to you, Neelam. We could cover a gamut of areas in this short span. Thanks, Neelam. Yes. Thanks, it viewers. Was absolute it was absolutely my pleasure to be talking to you and you happen to be one of my favorite poets and oh, I've heard you so often. <laughs> I'm so honored. A person like you. It was in 2020 so, that I first heard your Hindi share in one of the online oh. programs. Yes. And uh, my, there used to be several online programs those days when uh, there was lockdown going on. And I just hit upon this uh, group, this link of yours. And it was such a beautiful couplet that you were, you know, reciting at that time that uh, I, that very day, became a fan of yours. And <laughs> That's I, so yes. sweet of you. That's so yeah. sweet of you. So, again, wishing more power to you. And... More power to us. A long journey you have ahead. Okay, thank you. <laughs> In the next episode, <laughs> we will be having another important guest with us. Till then, bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye, -bye. bye.